Hi everyone, Palmer John here. I hope all is well and safe. I know we have this pandemic going on and just hopefully this video will make you guys just break away a little bit, enjoy cooking with the family, a little bit of love, a little bit of laughter, a little bit of family cooking. Today we're gonna make manicotti. Um, it's a manicotti kind of cannelloni kind of meal. You'll see that. You know, a lot of times people go out and buy the manicotti already and they boil it and they stuff it. Guess what? Today, you're gonna make your own. After today, you're gonna say, oh my God, I am a fabulous cook. I never thought I could cook like that. We're gonna make it fun. We're gonna make it easy. Easy with Parmesan. Okay, now we're gonna make the manicotti part. And very easy to make, very, very simple. I'm telling you, after this, you're gonna say, my God, I can't believe I just made my own pasta. Follow me here. Very, very simple. We're gonna need about one cup of flour, one egg, a cup and a half of water. Now, my mother used to say, Johnny, put a little baking powder in there, it's good. And I'm like, Ma, what is that gonna do? What the heck is gonna do? do? It's gonna do, Johnny, because if some people, they... Uh, not today, not today. Okay, everyone, now what I did was I combined the ingredients for the cannelloni, manicotti, okay, and you can see that it comes to a nice batter. I combined the flour, the eggs, the water, and you can see it's got a real nice consistency, okay? So I heated a pan here, again, always non-stick. We need a non-stick pan, I'll make sure that pan is hot, okay? And uh, if you don't have a non-stick pan, use some oil, spray, some, spray the pan so it doesn't stick, all right? So now what we're gonna do, is make the manicotti, okay? We're gonna, I'd like to do, I'd like to get it probably about six to eight inches, okay? So we'll put a little in there. Very, very simple, guys, I'm telling you. This is easy, okay? It's like a pancake, Johnny. It's so easy. Okay, here we go. All right, now, you'll watch that, okay? And when the ends start getting, looks like they were, um, they're, they're you know, being cooked, uh, that's when it's time to turn this, okay? So you see the ends are getting cooked, and it's very simple, watch this. We're gonna take it, right, and flip. There you go, okay, there you go. That's it, you just made yourself a manicotti. Let that cook for about another minute on, on, on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna make it one more time so you get the idea. Okay, put some of the batter in there. Circle it around. Okay. Then what happens is you'll see the ends of the maragotti cooking. Once the ends you see are cooked, the end of it, you're gonna just uh, flip it. Okay, now that one's done. And now we'll flip it. There's your other. So we just made the pasta. Look at that. Look how simple that is. It came out excellent, excellent. So if you're at home and you say, I can't make pasta, guess what? You just did. That's the, the great part of cooking with Parmesan. Okay, it's fun and it's easy. Hey everyone, now the exciting part, the filling. Very simple, very simple. We have four cups of ricotta. You could use skim or whole, doesn't make a difference. A little salt, a little pepper, I got a cup of mozzarella cheese. I got one cup of, all right everybody, I have to be honest with you now. I know it's Parmesan. Please, I used half pecorino. Oh, pecorino goes good with this. Please, please don't call the Parma police, please. I used half pecorino and half Parma. Shh, it's between us. All right, good, good. Then I got a teaspoon of nutmeg and about a tablespoon and a half of parsley and one egg, okay? We're gonna combine that all together, please. Don't, don't turn me in. Half pecorino, half parmesan. Okay, so I combined the cheese with the ricotta. Now I'm gonna mix in with the mozzarella. Okay. There you go. We're gonna put, let's get all that mozzarella in. We're gonna put a teaspoon of nutmeg, about a tablespoon and a half of parsley. Okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just put a little pinch of pepper, okay? 
a little pinch of salt. Not that much salt because the pecorino cheese is a little bit salty, a little bit harder than the Parmesan cheese, okay? And then we're gonna add the egg, okay? What? I got a boiled egg. You're making boiled eggs, you're making Easter eggs. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, sorry about that, okay? Add the egg. All right, there we go. She's making Easter eggs, what do you want me to say? Okay, so we're gonna incorporate the filling, okay? Incorporate all the flavors, get it in there good, mix it well, okay? Now we'll give it a shot. Oh, oh boy. That is excellent. Marina, 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 ti voglio tu presto sposar. Okay, everyone, so now what I did early this morning, I made a beautiful tomato sauce, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that sauce. Look, oh boy, I can smell it. I can smell it. So let's first put a little sauce, because we're gonna bake these guys, okay? We're gonna make this even better than what you thought, okay? All right, okay. So now what we're gonna do is stuff the monogatti, okay? We have the pasta. We're gonna take it like this. Okay, very, very simple. And Parmesan. Okay, follow me here. We're gonna take the filling, just put it in. Okay, you put a little generous amount. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, very simple, just roll it. Look at that. There's your one manicotti, right there. Let's make another one, okay? Very simple. Put the filling in. Right, and then we go over, and we roll, baby, roll. There's the second one. Okay, making one more. Right there, put it right there. We have one last one. Hey, you know everybody, I just want to thank everyone. I got to tell you, I got such tremendous feedback for the gnocchi, the frittata, the cherry tomato sauce. You know, I, I, I just want to thank everybody. I have great comments and great emails sent to me and text messages of everybody on a frittata uh, making tour and the gnocchi making tour. Everybody's cooking and that's what makes me happy. And don't forget, please, let's grow our Parmesan family. Let's subscribe, okay? If you like the recipes and you enjoy it, let's subscribe. Okay, so I finished making the manicotti, and you see you have a lot of leftover filling there. So, very simple, just make more manicotti. You got the ingredients, simple as that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some sauce on top of this, okay? Let me get a spoon. This scares me, this scares me. You know how many times my mother broke this over my head? You no listen, John, you no listen. Okay, so I just uh, put the oven on. We want to set it for 350 degrees, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my beautiful sauce that I made here. We're gonna put it right over the manicotti, okay? Look at that, man. Mm. I wish you could smell it. We gotta come up with that invention, okay? You can watch a video and smell it at the same time. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Look at that, okay? A little more. Look at those colors. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take some mozzarella and put it right on top of that, okay? Oh, this is gonna be unbelievable. I, I tell you, I wish everybody can just come over and enjoy this. And we have, we eat, we have fun, we laugh a little bit, we need it, that's for sure, you know? So, okay. All right, so we put that in, okay? We're gonna put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, everyone, looks like it's ready. Okay, now I said 30 minutes, but the last three or four minutes, I put it underneath the broil, okay? Because I want that mozzarella to darken up a little bit. Watch this. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so for 30 minutes, but the last three or four minutes, we're gonna put it on the broil. You see that? Oh. I wish you could smell it. It looks beautiful. Okay, so I just plated it. 
I'm gonna put a little of Parmesan cheese on there, right on top. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see how this is. Wow. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. The filling, you can taste the pecorino cheese, the nutmeg. It's got just a fabulous texture and taste. So, listen, if you enjoyed it today, subscribe. Come join the Parmesan family where we cook fun, we cook easy, we laugh a little bit. And I hope you enjoy this. And please, keep your comments coming. Keep cooking, taking pictures, send me texts, send me emails. Let me know what you want to see. Maybe there's a particular uh, type of food you want. So, thank you very much for joining uh, me today with Cooking Parmesan. Thank you.